Hi kids, today we're going to read the story, What My Sister Taught Me About Magnets, by Jacqueline Barber and John Erickson. It's the table of contents. My sister. My little sister is crazy about magnets. She is always playing with them and investigating something magnetic. Last week, I went into our room. There she was, playing with her magnets. She heard me coming in. Without looking up, she said, Let's play with magnets. Which one do you want? It doesn't matter. Magnets are all the same, I answered. They are not the same, she said. I smiled. My sister likes to explain things. She knows a lot for a little sister. Her explanations help people understand how things work. It was easy to predict what her explanation would be about this time. Magnets. Explanation 1. Magnetic Force Watch, my sister said. She put a paper clip on the floor. Slowly, she lowered a bar magnet over it. When the magnet got really close, the paper clip jumped up and stuck to it. And watch this. She did the same thing, but this time she used a horseshoe magnet. Just like last time, the paper clip jumped, but this time it jumped when the magnet was much farther away. So, I said, what's your explanation? She said, I think the paper clip jumped farther because the horseshoe magnet is stronger than the bar magnet. Stronger magnets can pull with more magnetic force. A stronger magnet will pull the paper clip up from farther away. Then she showed me a little magnet called a mighty magnet. She held it over the paper clip. The paper clip jumped almost two inches in the air to reach the strong, mighty magnet. Check this out, she said. Compared to the other magnets, the mighty magnet is really small, but the mighty magnet is the strongest of all. Explanation number two, magnetic poles. The next day, I saw my sister touching magnets to, get to each other in different ways. Two magnets were pushing each other away instead of pulling together. I guess those magnets don't work, I said. That did it. Before I knew it, she had started another explanation about magnets. My sister said, those two magnets pushed each other because of how the poles were coming together. What are poles, I asked. The poles are the two different ends of a magnet, she said. Every magnet has two poles, north and south. That's one way that magnets are alike. See, I told you magnets are all alike, I teased. My sister laughed and said, If you touch the north pole of one magnet to the south pole of another, the magnets pull together. That's called attracting. But if you try to touch the north pole of one magnet to the north pole of another magnet, the magnets push each other away. The same thing happens if you try to push two south poles together. They push apart. Pushing apart is called repelling. Are the poles always at the ends, like the poles on this thin bar magnet, I asked? No, she said. Different magnets have poles in different places. Just like the thin bar magnet, the horseshoe magnet has poles at the ends, she said. But the bend in the horseshoe magnet makes it different. The two poles are next to each other. She picked up two more magnets. This fat bar magnet and the ring magnet are alike. They both have poles on their big, flat sides. Ah, I said. My sister was busy trying to find the poles on the mighty magnet. Explanation 3. What magnets attract? Yesterday, I knew my sister was up to something. She was doing something in our room, but she kept coming out and asking me questions. First, she said, what are juice cans made of? I answered, metal. I know that, she said. What kind of metal? That kind of can is made of aluminum, I said. It's the same kind of metal as the foil you use to wrap food. All day, my sister kept asking me questions about what kind of metal different things are made of. She asked me about paper clips and nails and even the pipes under the sink. Finally, I asked her a question. What are you doing? 
I'm investigating, she said. I know magnets only attract metal objects, but none of my magnets would stick to the metal juice can. Why do you think that is? I asked. I wanted to hear her explanation. I think it's because magnets only attract certain kinds of metal, so the juice can must be made out of a kind of metal that magnets don't attract, she said. Now, I'm testing metal objects. I want to see which kinds of metals magnets attract. We talked about different kinds of metal. We talked about mines where people find metal underground. Do people dig up steel in steel mines? My sister asked. No, I said. I think people mix different kinds of metal together to make steel. I turned on the computer and looked for information about steel. Steel is made of mostly of iron, I told her. Hmm, she said. I'll write that down. She recorded the information in a notebook. Here's a table my sister made to record what she found out. We looked at it together to try to figure out which metals magnets attract. We have some ideas, but we still have questions. We'll use the table to predict which other objects will be attracted to magnets. And there's the object, the kind of item, and does a magnet attract it? So a juice can is made of aluminum and it does not attract it. Paper clip is made of steel, which is mostly iron. Yes. A penny is made of copper and zinc and it does not attract. Foil is made of aluminum and it does not attract. A nail is made of iron and it does attract. A nail is made of zinc and iron and it does attract. Her mom's necklace is made of silver and it does not attract. Dad's ring is made of gold and it's not a does not attract. Steel wool is made of steel, which is mostly made of iron. It does attract. A sink in the kitchen is made of steel, mostly made of iron. It does not attract. The pipe under the sink is made of copper and it does not attract. The frying pan is made of iron and it does attract. And the tall lamp is made of brass, which is mostly made of copper and zinc, and it does not attract. My sister's notebook. Most little sisters keep a diary or a notebook sometime in their lives, and they hide their diaries from their big sisters. But my little sister is different. She is proud to show me her notebook. It's different from a regular diary. It's more like a scientist's notebook. She uses it to record stuff she investigates. Can you predict what will be in her notebook? Turn the page to see. Notes about magnets. The shape, horseshoe magnet, a thin bar magnet, ring magnet, fat bar magnet, and a mighty magnet. The poles, repel and attract, on ends and on sides, and the strength. Which magnet has different magnets? And how high did a paper clip jump? So the mighty magnet was two inches, the horseshoe magnet was one inch, and the bar magnet was one fourth inch. Investigating with magnets. I predict that my sister will be a scientist one day. My mom says my sister already thinks like a scientist. Someday, I think my sister will invent something great. Maybe she'll invent a car that uses magnets to float above the road. Maybe she'll find a way to cure sick people with magnets. Or maybe she'll make a magnetic roller skates. Whatever she does, we will be really proud of her. But don't tell her I said that. And our glossary has a few words. Attract means to produce. And our glossary has a few words in it. Attract means to pull on an object even without touching it. Compare means to notice how two or more things are alike or different. Explain is to describe how something works or why something happens. An explanation is a description of how something works or why something happens. Invent is to design something new or make something old better. Investigate is to try to learn more about something. A magnet is an object that pulls on some kinds of metal and pushes and pulls on other magnets even without touching them. Magnetic means having to do with magnetic force. Magnetic force is the push or pull between two magnets or the pull of a magnet and some kinds of magnet uh, on some kinds of metals. An object is a thing that can be seen or touched. A pole is part of a magnet that pushes or pulls. 
Predict is to use what you already know to decide what you think might happen. Record means to draw or write down information. Repel means to push an object even without touching it. A table is a place to record information using words and numbers, usually inside lines and boxes. And test is to try something and find out what happens. The end.